shadow work. I know it look cute on the gram. I know it's trendy on TikTok. But when you really pulling them layers back, it get real, real. So let's talk about it. I dived into some shadow work this week. Well, really my whole life, okay? But I'm dedicating this video to that shadow work practice. And if you don't know what shadow work is, y'all Google it, okay? There's just so many. Y'all know I can rant, but really it's just exploring that aspect of yourself that you try to avoid or hide or cover up or run from, okay? It's like facing her head on. Part of my process of like confronting something is in the creation process. So I painted my shadow self. This painting honestly didn't even start that way. It started with how all my paintings start, okay? Which is me splashing color around. And so I really wanted to dive into more of a self-portrait and seeing how the different layers of myself would be exposed. And the painting started out looking a little scary. So I was like, ooh, it's getting scary. It's giving, are we showing a darker side? Is some darkness coming out? Maybe this could be the shadow self. And as I worked more on the painting, it transitioned away from a darkness and more to an innocence, a vulnerability, a childlike nature where she seemed, she seemed afraid, she seemed scared. And I was like, ooh. So this is my real shadow self. And I think what's interesting, sometimes we can be afraid to peel back the layers of ourselves and we think that we're gonna find something scary or mean or dark. Really y'all, sometimes that shadow self is just a scared little kid. I know that's, that's what it has been in my experience as I start to journal and paint self portraits of myself. I talked about in a previous video, just like the self portrait process is a very, it's, it's a very, it's a very confronting process you know like you staring yourself in the eyes you really looking at all your different features and if you and if you find yourself being very critical of yourself that can be a very confronting process and it can be the time to ask questions so part of my kind of shadow work journey has been asking myself the questions but in asking those questions I've been letting the paintbrush be my guide which has been so fun for me I started to add more colors to the canvas and work in the different features of my face. And I also printed out an image of myself so that I can use, of course, my face as a, as a reference. And so when I compared the two, I was like, ooh, the eyes are too big. Um, that's what's giving me this sort of childlike thing. And part of me thought to change it. I was like, no, I want it to look just like the photo, you know, let it look just like the photo. But I was like, no, actually, I think I think that's the that's the child like energy that is trying to come out. I think she's the one who's trying to be seen right now or really just trying to be heard. And it made me think like, okay, okay, this is this is the work. And look, I'm like literally looking at my SpongeBob. If you aren't new here, then y'all know I love SpongeBob. If you are new here, welcome boo. Your girl is in Seattle, Washington. I paint large scale, colorful cosmic queens and all the lovely things, okay? And I love going deep, y'all. I couldn't, I couldn't small talk if I tried. <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, I think that's really been the thing that's been coming up as my community has been growing, as my platform has been growing. There's a vulnerability that comes with being seen and putting yourself out there on the internet and putting your creativity out into the world in general. And I'm like, who is who is afraid in that growth process? And in this growth, I feel myself shrinking. And I'm like, come, like we <laughs> we trying to move forward, you know? And I look back and I'm like, who is pulling me back? Who is this shadow? And it's it's the little girl. It's the it's the little girl who like, no, 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 no. I don't wanna grow up. I have a Toys R Us kid. Boo, you ain't no Toys R Us kid. No, no, you can't be. 
first of all, I'm, I'm never gonna grow up, all right? I'm always gonna be the childlike, fun, blissful child who loves color, who loves making jokes, who just don't wanna take this life too serious, you know? But in expanding and going to the next level, I know that there's a level of responsibility that comes with that and it, it's very intimidating. It's very intimidating and I think that's my shadow in this current point in my life. Now, years ago, it was a whole different shadow, but as I move moving forward, I keep hitting this resistance. Is that, is that the resistance? And it was her, it was her, this, this little girl. And, and I think a huge layer of shadow work is asking yourself questions, you know? And so I asked myself, what am I afraid of in being seen more? What comes with that? Now, of course, that comes with critique, that comes with judgment, that comes with negativity. It comes with so many different things, but also it's like, okay, well, why do you think that'll happen? Because the other part is that I want to create from the fullness of myself. And I think this is really coming up as I want to explore different mediums, different styles. And, you know, for the longest, I think that my community has known me for painting like the beautiful, colorful cosmic queens, of course, right? Like that's how I just intro myself. But it's also like, what if they aren't always cosmic? What if they aren't always queens? <laughs> what if it's not always a portrait? What if it's not always even a painting? You know, like I want to explore music and dance and possibly, you know, ceramics or, you know, sculpture, just like 3D elements. There's just so many different things that I want to explore. And I feel super grateful to live in this time where there's so many different tools that we have access to, to be able to do that. So when I think about, you know, shifting and changing, the idea of people's perception comes in my mind. Like, oh, well, what will somebody think? Or how will this be perceived? Or that little girl who's really been like, oh, it's been it's been okay for you to be seen because y'all growing up I was a cheerleader I was on the speech team that's why I'm <laughs> clearly comfortable talking your girl with dramatic interpretation okay that's why I'm so dramatic if anybody's trying to figure it out <laughs> I was on the speech team in high school um, in church praise dance team choir always been on some sort of stage and I feel comfortable being in front of a stage but it was always from the lens of the good girl it was okay she's singing in church or she's you know Know, the cheer girl she's always smiling she's the courthouse gesture she's always making somebody laugh and just like I'm usually known as somebody who's bringing good vibes and I love that like <laughs> I'm here to continue to serve the vibes don't think that that will ever be changing but I feel like as I want to explore different things I want to make sure that there's room for these different aspects of myself to be seen and to be safe and when I think about exploring different mediums or showing up in different ways or talking about shadow work talking about these like you know darker elements it's not even dark but y'all know Y'all know how the world can be, especially in a Christian world. That's a whole nother. Which is part of the other thing. It's like, wow, you know, like, you know, like my, my family watching these, you know what I mean? Like, I think what's so funny about YouTube is like a lot of people don't talk about like when your family clicks your videos or just when other people are watching, you just like, oh, wow. Like, okay, <laughs> I might not want to be talking about that if my mama watch it, you know what I mean? But I also know how, I know how powerful and how healing and how transformational transparency and authenticity and courage can be. And that's part of my purpose being here on planet earth is to peel those layers back is, and of course, to bring the light and the love, but have an understanding that there's a balance of the two. There's duality, there's polarities, okay? There's the light and the dark, and both of them are safe and welcome here. And it doesn't have to be any judgment there's no good there's no bad it's all a, it's all about the creator experience in itself and it's just it's just so beautiful when I think about the game we're living down here on planet earth life is the perfect game like if we are living in a in an illusion or a matrix or you know like if we if we for real for real on some spirit being shit Okay, having a human experience, which is what I full wholeheartedly believe. Okay, that we are spirit beings having human experiences. Like, this isn't our only life. This isn't our only reincarnation. This isn't our only physical manifestation of who our soul wants to be, you know? Because the shit's hard. Like, this is like hard. I think if it was easy, 
you know, we would get bored. We would want to get over it. Now, of course, at the same time, though, life is what you make it. So like the game is what you make it. If you make the game easy for yourself, then cool, it's easy. But I think at a certain point, you'll get tired of that. You know, you're like, all right, let's, you know, let's spice it up. Let's, you know, like, what's you know, what's happening? But yeah, I mean, you know, I think I would, I know me, let me speak on me. Okay. I would get bored. I would straight up get bored. And so, but is that my problem though? Like, am I making shit difficult for myself just so that I can spice it up? <laughs> because I like adrenaline. You know, <laughs> What is my problem? You know, what is my problem? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know how some people be like addicted to drama? Now, I'm not. I'm far from anybody. Like, no. Okay. Even though my guilty pleasure is like the celebrity gossip channels and like seeing what's kind of going on with the celebrity stuff. But no, y'all, I don't. Sometimes you just got to turn that off. It's like, no, I don't even want to feed the algorithm. I don't want to feed the bots. I don't want them to continue to feed this information to me and show me this. So it's like, no. But every now and again, I'd be like, wait, what? Wait, who did was to? Uh-uh. Not Tamara. Girl. I was shocked with that one. But I, nope, I had to click out. I don't know what the tea is because I only like coffee. Okay. Nuh-uh. Keep that, keep that tea away. No, y'all know I drink tea. <laughs> I drink both. But yeah, I mean... I think it's okay to make it easier for yourself too. Like going back to what we talked about, like romanticizing the struggle, you know, and like, like making it hard for yourself. Like it ain't gotta be hard. Why you gotta be out here doing this to yourself? You know, the game is what you make it at the end of the day. Hmm. I'm at the crib, y'all. It's snowing. Did I show y'all snow? Look, don't, don't look at my laundry behind me. (laughs) Okay. Just a little bit. Oh, Andy building a fence for back there by the tub. So I can have a little bit of privacy. Like our neighbors is kind of close. They aren't close. Like clearly we got a big backyard. But when these trees thin out, you can see all up in that tub area. It was hilarious because um, our neighbor... I saw, I saw her. She saw me. We locked eyes. Okay. And a bitch was butt ass naked. She just like closed her blinds. I was like, hey, hey, sis, do what you got to do. Okay. Because I'm on my property. Okay. This my crib. So, but yeah, no, them, them leaves got thin and it's, we got it. We, so Andy built me a privacy fence. Shout out to Boo. Shout out to Bay. Shout out to Bay. And it's funny, me and Andy were just talking about this. We talk all day, okay? Like, we could just sit on a couch and just talk. And we were recently talking about this. I was telling him how, you know, this whole, like, church girl, good. And that's why I love Beyonce song, Church Girl. It's like the freedom of the church girl. Like, yes. Um, What did she say? Drop it like a thotty. (laughs) I love it. I know the church was mad with that one. But it's like, so many church girls out here thinking caged. It's so, that's, let's. We have a whole nother video for that, okay? But he was like, yeah, babe, I didn't see you like that in high school. So if you didn't know, me and Andy actually went to high school together. He was my prom date and yeah, we've been together a long time, <laughs> okay? He's like, I saw you as this like quirky art girl, you know, you know, we would hang out. He's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see you as that at all. I feel like he accepted all aspects of myself before I was even, before I even felt comfortable showing all those different aspects of different people because it's like, you remember like at school, you kind of show one side to your friends and the public and high school, but then at home, you like, okay, <laughs> you gotta be what your parents say, you gotta do this, you know? And so we like, we grown now, we grown now. And I'm just really shedding this idea of that I have to maintain this small child identity and only being seen in certain aspects or only being seen if I'm smiling or only being seen if I'm making somebody laugh or or if I'm painting something that somebody considers beautiful you know at the end of the day art is so subjective and when you really are creating from from a from a deep place where that where that healing where that unpacking starts coming through it's not always pretty, you know? It's not always gonna be, you know, a baddie with brows on fleek and lips popping and her, you know, edges laid. 
Sometimes it looks rough. Sometimes it looks scary. Sometimes it looks like a little girl who is really just afraid to be seen because she's afraid about of not getting love, you know? And I think a lot of us have that sort of fear on the inside, but afraid of one saying it out loud. And then that fear translates into limiting us from doing something because we like, no, nah, we gonna be judged if we if we do this. Or like, I don't wanna do that because somebody gonna think this about me. And it's like, yeah, but, but do they matter though? <laughs> like, and also, did you die? <laughs> That's what I be reminding myself. We're living in a completely different time. It's not the tiger chasing us no more. It's, it's our own thoughts got us running around in circles. And I'm just ready to get free, you know? And that freedom for me looks like taking that little girl by the hand, letting her know that you good, boo. I see you. I'm gonna always keep you in mind. You are safe here and we gonna move forward with courage because that's what it's about at the end of the day. And it's about just creating and I think creativity is one of the most powerful things and it's one of the most scariest things, it's one of the most vulnerable things and in this in this new chapter, in this evolution of the bloom era, y'all know this the bloom era, in this new evolution, you know, it might, it might not always be pretty. I'm ready to peel back the layers and that was part of what I was represented in the painting with the body portion of it. I, did, I didn't put anything there, you know? It was literally just a wash, a transparency where you can see the splashes, you can see the imperfections, you can see the flaws and all, you know? And I'm not even done with this piece. I don't know if I'll finish it because then I'm kind of like, who want to buy this? <laughs> Y'all, that's sometimes I be thinking that, which I'm not even gonna worry about. And so even in painting, I was like, girl, who gonna want a portrait of you with your brain <laughs> skiing out? You know, but not skiing. Okay, Hermes. It wasn't even about that, y'all. It was just, a, it, was, it was about the exercise for me. It was, it was about the healing process of asking myself those questions, really having an intimate moment to figure out what is holding you back? What are, what are these things? What is the shadow that you need to confront so that you can move forward? And yeah, that's that's what it's been. I hope this has inspired you in some way or encouraged you on your journey. Maybe you could start journaling, doing your shadow work. We're gonna be talking more with the co-creators over there on Discord. And I'm super excited for our create date, December 11th, y'all, okay? Everybody over there in the Patreon community, we vibing out December 11th, Sunday at 2 p.m. for our create day ritual. And check Patreon for any more updates. But and a super special shout out to my supernova patrons who are making this creative and abundant life possible. Thank y'all so much for joining me today in the studio. And remember, if you liked it, like it. I'll see you next week.